Well, hello from the QB4 studio. Today we have uh, the review of the Blues vs Highlanders match uh, on Friday night. And it was a pretty even game for most of the game until the Blues trundled over with the win. Uh, but really, it was it was the start that really put the Highlanders in a hot seat with uh, Withy uh, going over from a great pass from Phil Alpha Kataba. And Withy trundled in on the corner. But a perfect start in the first 90 seconds for the Hollanders, which is what they needed. They didn't have such good starts last year in, in the Super Rugby, but uh, they did really well um, taking those opportunities when they had them in this game. And uh, although when they were like, the kicking off the tee wasn't very good, which was just like kind of lost their lead way and they lost the game probably because of that. I mean, they didn't have as many opportunities, but they still probably should have gone a bit closer in this match. But that was in the second minute that Withy went over. In the seventh minute, Hoskins had 2-2 went over. The Lion had a fantastic game. He trundled over three times in their match. He was Absolutely fantastic. He had a real physical appearance in this match. And it really showed, like, it was kind of like how Finn Vizel did it in the, um, in the World Cup. Uh, oh, no, in, against South Africa last year um, for New Zealand. And it really put pressure on the other team, on South Africa. But it was... It wasn't the first try, but it was really big physical appearance from uh, the, the Blues after that. And no conversions were converted for the first 12 minutes because there was another try in the 11th minute for Ratama Tavuki Nipkins. Uh, and, yeah, a lot of these tries were set up by, um, what's his name, um, Reese Patchell, the Welsh, Welsh international, he had a very good game. Um, pretty sure this one was um, assisted by Patchell um, from an offload, but I'm not completely sure. I think that was the one. But, um, yeah, he was very good, Reese Patchell, and he really, him and Falao Whakatawa really led the team well during this match. But, again, the conversion wasn't converted and um score was 10-5 in the first five minutes to the Highlanders. Um and then a penalty was taken by Stephen Peter Fitter. Reese Patchell scored a try, uh definitely deservingly. Um, I think that was from a Philadelphia Kitava assist. He had a very good game for Philadelphia Kitava. He had a lot of assisted tries during the match. But again it wasn't converted. Um the conversion wasn't converted, and there was also a missed penalty by Reese Patchell, as Sam Gilbert wasn't kicking too well for that swap around, but still it didn't go well enough. And it was 15 8 after 3 6 minutes, so a decently high scoring first start of the half. Uh, and then uh, Funaki scored, and Peter Feder converted the try, which is, did not happen very much the game. And then later, just before half time, Talia went over. He actually had a real impact on the game too. And Stephen Peter Fitter converted this one. So at half time, it was 15 22 to the Blues. It had taken quite a comeback for the um, Blues to come over. Shot over in the um, first half after a really impactful start from the Hollanders. And then uh, next half time, and three minutes into the half time, into the second half, um, Hoskins to do went over again for a second. Peter Feder converted the conversion and then got a penalty. 15 32, 53 minutes, 27 minutes remaining. And it didn't look too good for the Highlanders at that point. But then the 63rd minute, Tabata Funda Vinawai uh, went over. Sam Gilda at this time converted the try and it was 22-32, so still chance for the Highlanders. But then Hoskins said 2 for his third went over and dampened those hopes And in the 68th minute. So 
but Peter Feder didn't uh, convert the conversion, and Sam Nock was the yeah, 80th and it was yellow carded, so not too much of a good sign for him. But uh, then Valo Farga, um, the reserve first five, um, scored in the 80, 81st minute and then competed in the 87th minute just for some bonus points in the end. But yeah, we'll go through the stats now. Um, there were four, five tries apiece, it really came down to the kicking, really which was disappointing for the Highlanders as they, they had probably one of their better games for this uh, from last year. They they did not have many games like this where they were competitive against New Zealand teams. Uh, but Meters game of Blues, 519 to 285, absolutely dominated in that region. I uh, just saw Mark Elias got, um, got about how many... He got so many metres gained, 96 metres. Um, and that was that was really, he made that impact too with Hoskins. Um, Hoskins is hat trick. He's, Hoskins has t- um, scored five tries this Super Rugby season, so he's really making an impact this season. Wanting that All Blacks um, call up. But yeah. It looked like as though Blues had a lot more sort of position during the match. 170 carries to 85. So they kind of dominated the ball in hand, but they didn't actually convert as much as we thought they would. Um, really, what came down, it was just kicking misses. See, they had a lot more passes, a lot more ball in hand. 210 to 95. The massive difference and then oh and then Islanders had to make 237 tackles they still were up for the challenge see they could have won that with 237 tackles it's pretty crazy so shows that the Highlanders are a bit defense at the moment Blues just need to start converting the tries and then they'll be looking good but yeah penalty goal accuracy 100% for the uh, Blues and zero percent for the Highlanders, massive difference. But yeah, it was a really, it was a decently close game. It just Highlanders took charge. Uh, the Blues took charge. Sorry. Um, you see, I was only sixty percent to the Blues' position, but I think they just really. It must have held the ball a lot in the second half or something because. I don't know, it was a lot. It dominated the stats, but didn't end up dominating the scorecard. But yeah, thanks for listening. Uh, Blues take the win over the Highlanders, 37-29. But it's all good start for the Highlanders. Thank you.